Good afternoon everybody, it's time for your final reel video and this video is about oral language so it's the language you need for literacy. Basically for any child, for any adult, you can't write and read without having those language skills. You need to have oral language as a foundation to literacy so it's really really important. You need to be able to speak it and you need to be able to understand it. A child needs to hear a word 40 times in context to actually really deeply understand its meaning and how they can use it in their world. So speaking and understanding is key. So again, there are four elements to the real project. The first one being opportunities, opportunities for oral language. So this is those really valuable conversations that you have with your child. The best way to introduce new language and new vocabulary is through play. So when your child is playing in an imaginary world or creating a story with their toys, join in. You can be using new words, new vocabulary in their game and keep using it. You might feel like a broken record but keep on using it. You can create worlds together, you can tell stories with toys at home, singing rhymes, uh, using puppets, and just doing those imaginary play, story storytelling. Those are the opportunities for using language, and that language will later become those literacy skills in reading and writing. In terms of recognition, the second strand of the real project. It's realising that though your children are using speaking skills and narrative in their play and when you get involved. And as I say, the, the early storytelling and creating stories with toys and in play is absolutely perfect for this. Recognise that they're playing. Don't take over their play, don't interrupt them, but help join in with that play. Um, and don't forget, recognition, have a look at this jigsaw puzzle for oral language and shade in those pieces of the puzzle. So things like um, they listen carefully to stories and they can retell some of those traditional tales. Can your child sing six nursery rhymes? Well, I'm sure the children who've been to our nursery know six nursery rhymes and can share them. Do they like listening to nursery rhymes? Do they use key phrases in conversations? Um, do they have favourite books? Do they know some authors? Our nursery children know, know Julia Donaldson inside out and back to front because we've, we've actually read those stories so many times. So have a look at this puzzle for oral language. You'll be amazed what your child knows already. And as I say, these are the foundations for later literacy in terms of reading and writing. Another good one for recognition is when you get the family album out or you look at family photographs um, on a computer or iPad or phone, etc. Talk about the family. This is your auntie. This is your uncle. These are your cousins. And talk about situations where you've all been together and model that language and it will help them to remember. And do it regularly. Do it regularly. It might seem a little bit tedious to you. But a child never gets tired of looking at those photographs and their special times and talking about it again. The third strand is interaction. And as I say, this is this playing together. Start by playing alongside and joining in with a, a child's storytelling. Use books a lot. Picture books in particular are great. And you can tell stories together just using the pictures. Start by saying, oh, I can see somebody hiding in the trees here. Um, I wonder who that can be. I wonder what they're doing. Model some new words to bring into that storytelling. Um, puppets are fantastic. If you don't have puppets, soft toys are just as good. And use those to interact with your child. Quite often a child will have a better conversation with a puppet than with an adult, particularly an unfamiliar adult. And they'll talk to the puppet so the puppet is real. So get those interactions going using puppets, soft toys, small world role play. Dress up together. It sounds really sad, but even as a grown-up, I've got loads of dressing up clothes. 
And when you can take on a character and become engaged in that play, a child will interact with you much, much more. You quite often see me in nursery with a silly hat on, and there's a reason for that. The children like to play with you. They like to engage with you and have that interaction where you're using language together. And the fourth element, of course, is modelling. You are their first role model. You are the person that they spend the most time with. So you have the most important job to be that role model for them. You need to talk through everything you're doing. It's almost like thinking out loud all the time because those are opportunities where you can introduce new language and familiarise your child with language that they'll need for later life. So if I'm writing something in nursery, I'll say to whoever's close by, whoever's listening to me, oh, I must write that down on a piece of paper. Uh, I must make a list. Oh, that's the third thing on my list. I already have empty boxes, sellotape and glue. Let's add some more things to my list. I'm actually vocalising what I'm doing all the time. Um, it seems a little bit trivial, but actually those ears are working, those brains are working, and they're taking it all in. I'll pick up a book and I'll say, oh, let's have, uh, let, shall we choose a non-fiction book today? Shall we choose an information book? Can you show me what's on the cover of the book? Oh, what do you think that might be? Um, oh, I can see something really interesting here. So use your books, use your toys, be a model for everything that you do. Uh, I'm going to pick up the recipe book. Shall we look at some recipes together? Oh, that's a fantastic illustration of a chocolate cake. I wonder what the ingredients that we need. Let's have a look. So talk through. Even those words that you think are ridiculous, they're enormous, your child's never going to remember. They will amaze you because they're sponges. So use those large words, be ambitious in the language that you're using so that your child will be picking up those words as well. Uh, and a great one is I spy. As a role model, you have all these opportunities when you're walking somewhere or going to the park or even at home, play I spy together and be more challenging. Challenge your child to find things that are, are unusual. Um, do they know what a cheese grater is? Ask them to go and find it and spy it in a game of I spy. So there's loads of opportunities for introducing new vocabulary. Ditch all the old familiar words, they know those already. Be ambitious in what you model and they will pick those words up. And all of it is through play and things that you do every day. No special toys are needed, no special resources are needed. You have it all at your fingertips and that's everyday life and those are the skills that they need. So, be like me. Don't shut up, keep talking all the time and engage your child and interact with your child so that they use lots of language too. So that's the last of your real projects. You've got lots of ideas to bring on your child's literacy at home in everyday life. Good luck. You're amazing. See you soon.